Have you ever I'll climbed see. before? Here? I have one time. Have you ever used the rock wall before? No. Never been on the rock wall before? Have you ever used the rock wall before? No, I haven't. Have you any desire to use the rock Actually, wall? I do, yeah. Have you ever used the rock wall before? Yeah. How many times, you know, the, over the past school year have you used it? I did a lot last semester, probably two or three times this semester. Now, have you ever used the rock wall before? Just once. Once? Okay. Uh, any particular reason you don't use it more often? Um, no, not really. Rock climbing is one of the oldest sports in the world. Many climbers trace the sport's history back to the Greek myths where the gods and goddesses were said to have lived on top of, you guessed it, a mountain. Olympus, to be precise. In the 19th century, a few English mountaineers decided that they would rather get to the top of rock faces rather than find paths around. They tied hemp rope to their waists, started climbing up cracked faces, and shoved knots of rope into cracks to slow any falls that they might take. Today, there are three major forms of rock climbing, top roping, bouldering, and leading, all of which are offered at the UD Crag. Top roping is the form of climbing most recognized by the most people. It's the kind of climbing you find in malls, county fairs, and sporting goods stores. A top rope setup consists of an anchored position from which one person belays or manages the rope of another climber. At the UD Crag, we use belay devices known as grigris. The word grigri describes a voodoo talisman that wards off evil. True to their name, Climbing grigris are auto-locking, ensuring that even if the belayer were to completely let go of the rope, the climber would be 100% safe from falling while on the wall. Speaking of falling, top roping's main draw is just that. Because of the anchor's location at the top of the route, when a climber does come off the wall, he or she never falls more than a few inches. Because of its simplicity, top roping often gets the reputation of being for beginners only. This is unfortunate, because top rope routes run the gamut in difficulty from very easy to extremely challenging. At the UD Crag, we offer a variety of routes in a variety of difficulty ratings. Bouldering is the fastest growing offshoot of traditional rock climbing in the world. In bouldering, there is no rope requirement as boulderers only climb up to 15 feet off the ground. Rather, a crash pad is substituted to soften the landings. At first glance, bouldering might seem easier than top roping because boulder problems typically consist of only a few moves from start to finish. However, the average boulder problem is in actuality much more challenging and can often take days of re repetition to complete. Bouldering is much more of a social sport than top roping because of the shortened length of the problems, multiple people can sit around and try the same few moves for hours on end. Many top rope and lead climbers also boulder to help build physical strength and agility, as specific moves like heel hooks and ceiling climbs are easier to find in boulder problems. The cave of the UD Crag offers enormous opportunity for bouldering. Our inclined roof and ceiling are great for practicing roof climbing. The underclings and natural features help build real life technique Finally, the staff sets a wide range of climbs as far as a challenge is concerned, so you can be sure that you will always find something to push yourself. Lead climbing is rock climbing. To lead a route is to tie into a rope and clip into anchors as you ascend a rock face. Lead belayers use a different belay device than their top roping counterparts. ATCs, which stands for Air Traffic Controller, are used instead. While they do not automatically lock, they do allow for the rope to be moved in both directions. There are two forms of lead climbing, traditional or trad, and sport. Traditional climbing is a strictly outdoors form of rock climbing. In trad, devices are placed into the rock face which hold the rope in place as the climber goes up. The very nature of trad prevents its use indoors. In sport climbing, preset bolts are used in place of the climber's own gear. The UD Crag does offer sport climbing to those who are interested. 
As mentioned earlier, the main difference between top roping and lead climbing is that both forms of lead require a climber to clip into the wall as he or she climbs. This makes leading much more difficult than top roping. Also, the first few clips of a climb can be dangerous because if a leader falls, he or she will fall twice the distance to his or her last clip. Only green carded expert climbers are allowed to take our lead climbing test. Today, you've gotten a look at the various forms of rock climbing and exactly what the UD Crag has available. Now that you've gotten a taste, we hope you'll take the opportunity to come check it out and give rock climbing a try.